Hey, thanks so much for bringing me in. It's been a while since I auditioned for you, so I wasn't sure if you still remembered me. Ugh. Of course I remember you, Amanda. This role came across my desk and I was instantly like, Amber would be perfect for this. Well, I'm flattered. Um, you know, I've been told I have this like quirky yet edgy, raw yet vulnerable vibe I bring to my characters. So I'm glad that Essence stood out and you thought of me for Blackatha Christie. Yeah, sorry we couldn't show you the audition sides ahead of time, but uh, this project's kind of a big deal and we couldn't risk the script being leaked to the public. It's a biopic of early 1900s British mystery novel writer, Agatha Christie, but get this, this time she's black. Yeah, I got that. And dyslexic. Oh, cool. I, I mean, I loved her Poirot novels, so, um, but it, isn't she like, I don't know, pretty darn white. I like a, like a historically actual white person. Hey, it worked for Hamilton, right? This is a good thing. Representation, progress. No, yeah, it's super cool. I'm, I'm just happy to be here practicing the craft of acting. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, no, I, I just, I get why you called me in now. Oh, there is nothing to be ashamed of. You are a talented BIPOC actress and diversity is so important. I, I mean, for decades, it's just been Hollywood, you know, hashtag why you so white. And this is our industry's way of paying reparations. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not condescending at all. Um, thank you. You're so welcome, honey. Any questions? Nah, let's do it. <clears throat> I met someone else, shoddy. How could you do this to me? After we shared a bed, a life, a child together. Sometimes it just be like that. Can you fathom the depths of pain you have and continuously put me through? Hey, loving it so far. Can you lose the accent? Oh, yeah, no, I, I just thought because she's British. Ah, well, black people can't be British, so. Yeah, they can. Um, Idris Elba, Cynthia Erivo, and pretty much every, like, actor who plays iconic black historical American figures. Oh, wow, you're right. You know, I, thank you so much for educating me at, when it was not your emotional labor to do. I, I am listening. And I'm learning. Namaste. Pick up where you left off. My mother died. And you weren't there. <laughs> off vacationing in Spain with that thought, no doubt. You're a little side piece. Yeah, I'm not hearing it. Hearing what? That fire, you know, that, that, that real talk, Agatha. The, the one who shoots from the hip. You know what I mean, sister girl? Like, sassier? Sure. Off vacationing in Spain with that thought, no doubt. Your skanky little side piece. Okay, so how do we say this? Um, originally, we had envisioned Queen Latifah would do this role. And you called me in? Well, we didn't quite have a queen-size budget, let's just say. But what of your daughter? If you do not care for me Can at the very- Can you sound more like someone who rinses their chicken before cooking it? What? Someone who might, I don't know, switch the S and K when they're saying the word ask. Someone who may not necessarily have the best credit. Oh my god, that's like really racist. Is it? I mean, I don't remember saying anything about race. I mean, I'm not racist. I cast Denzel Washington in Coming to America, so. Oh, that was actually, you know, never mind. Look, I, I know what you're going for here, but I don't think I can bring the kind of authentic blackness you want me to bring, or if that's even a thing, you know? I just, I was an Air Force brat, raised in the suburbs, mixed as fuck. Like, maybe bring in, like, a darker-skinned actress or, or, or someone who was raised in that particular kind of black culture, or at least someone who doesn't have the complexion of, like, I don't know, the inside of a honey-baked ham. Oh, no, you're perfect. Your Pantone shade is what we call Hollywood biopic black. What does that mean? You know what it means. Don't, don't make me say it. Just keep going. But what are your daughter? Listen, bitch, if you do not care for me at the very least that you, you know what, I, I don't think I can do this. Thank you for bringing me in, but I just, I, I want to book jobs and be remembered for being a good actor, not necessarily just being a brown one. I want to be part of art that's compelling and, and resonates with audiences of all demographics. Help me, white devil. You're my only hope. It's not just stuck behind the wheel of a white star vehicle with a black coat of paint slapped on it, you know? Hey, do not listen to me. I will take any vehicle. If you think we cannot afford a free voter ID, do you think we can afford a car? 
check out Privilege. We appreciate having more opportunities. We really do. But maybe give us something fresh and exciting instead of these tired hand-me-downs. You bathe in the blood of my ancestors. I'm sorry. Diversity is not enough to support a story on its own. I am sorry. There, I said it. If it is absolution you want, this white chocolate Nubian princess wants something in return. Absolve me. Why not focus first and foremost on just making sure it's, I don't know, good? Like the, the, the relationships and the characters and the plot, realistic and nuanced and oddly universal in their specificity. Instead of making this boring, insular, self-congratulating, virtue signaling circle jerk that you're trying to pass off as art. Virtue jerk. A virtue jerk. Wakanda forever. I am so sorry. No one tell you how much the studio is offering you for the role?